Okay, good morning everybody. Now you should see uh, the description of the course. Yes, in Orto system. Currently it's not uh, too much uh, in this uh, web page, but it will be gradually added up. So let us start with small introduction to this course, what we are going to discuss, uh, how all the materials will be available, and uh, this will be recorded as a separate video. In the beginning, let me show you example of uh, some other course, how it will look like um, when it's finished. Yes, for example, Telecommunications Theory English, uh, which is bachelor course. So basically, all the lectures we are going to have will be uh, like this. Yes, so the topic of the lecture, then some uh, short uh, topics that have been discussed. Uh, maybe we'll continue adding this link but may, but probably it's not that hard for you now to join it manually. So these will be here. Make sure that you join the correct one. So this week it's first. Next week it is going to be the second, third and so forth. So they will show up here below and you can press simply join. Uh, join to cu uh, current active meeting. Yes, of the current week's topic. So and uh, there will be also slides for, so for PDF presentation and accordingly video records. Yes, also there is going to be a video record such as introduction to course, which we are currently discussing. This will be, oh, sorry, this will be added. Let us open both of them. Uh, this will be added here in the brief description of the course somewhere below here. Yes, and accordingly uh, then uh, we are going to uh, discuss what now we are going to discuss what we will learn in this course. So the idea is that you should be able to access this study course description at any time. So let's see if it works. I think for some reason it didn't work for me. So I have searched this course in the study course register. Yes, and here you can see what uh, topics we are going to cover uh, within this course. And now, of course, um, how to say it? Mm, uh, there will be a little bit more of some material and a little bit less of something mentioned here because uh, this course is currently undergoing some uh, improvements, some editing, and uh, previously it was read by other teacher. Now, starting from this year, uh, it was being entrusted to me. So I'm going to make some modification to this course, which I believe is good and uh, gives you uh, a lot of uh, new information, which previously wasn't uh, studied much here. So we are going to basically go through most of this. Now, if this doesn't load, uh, then I believe I'm going just to save this to you as PDF and then upload it to our course description so that you can watch it. Yes, because basically mostly for most parts, yes, we are going to stick to this uh, outline of the topics. Also, it contains some literature which you can use and you are welcome to do so. Uh, especially some online materials, but uh, the idea is that it should be enough to have all these materials such as slides and video records for you to pass the course and do every practical exercise we are going to have. So we will have a lot of practical exercises and actually uh, that is where majority of your how to say uh, great will come from. So here it is said 50 50 percent, but considering that uh, currently we have this remote learning situation, it may be even up to 80 percent based on all the practical works. Yes, and considering especially that there will be a lot of these practical works. Now currently I can say specifically how many, but I believe it will be once per two weeks. Uh, a new practical exercise, so it's possible to easily count that it will be around seven or eight practical exercises in total, yes. So about the schedule, it's precise and we are going to work as it's shown here. So 
you can always check which week we are now having. So it's study week number three. Yes, and therefore on um, even numbered weeks, we only have these two lectures. If it's uh, the second, fourth, sixth and so forth week, we are going to have uh, three lectures. So basically these will be lectures, lectures, and uh, these will be practical exercises. So once per two weeks, we are going to have practical exercise. Uh, preferably it is going to be last, but it's not always like that. Most probably, for example, next week, we are going to make our practical exercise first at eight. Uh, because it will cover the same material we'll be talking today about. And then uh, as it, it will be more convenient, we'll see. Yes, so um, yes, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Around seven practical exercises, I believe. These two last weeks probably we will not uh, be studying anymore. So the plan is to finish by, by the end of May. So May, uh, whatever it will be going to be about 30th date. Yes, it's going to be our last uh, last uh, lecture and the rest of the time will be provided to you to finish all your practical exercises, to ask all your questions you might have, to prepare some exam tasks, uh, yes, and so forth. So everything you can send me to my email once you have it, and there will be no strict deadline, such as you have to, for example, finish your practical exercise in March. No, it, all the works can be submitted up to the last 20th week uh, end, yes. So whenever you have them ready, you can send them. But if you need more time, it's okay. No, no need to hurry, no need to rush. You can send me uh, all the semester, all your works. So that is for the deadlines, that is for the plan of our course, and for the topics. So let, yes, maybe let us discuss a little bit more our uh, topics. Yes, uh, where did we go? Here. What we are going to discuss in this course. So first of all, uh, we can see here multiple, how to say it, sections of the course, yes. So first one is going to be about complex signals, about Fourier transform and uh, yes, and sampling of the signals. So basically this is some signal processing, more advanced signal processing, which we are going to cover. Uh, before that, before that, we, today we are going and a few more lectures, we are going to have discussion about channel models. So ideally this discussion should have been already made in bachelor level course, but I don't uh, know um, how much of this material you had in your, in your bachelor level, so I'm going to explain anything today. So channel models and next week we are going to have some practical exercise about these channel models. Just some introduction to Octave or MATLAB if you have access to it and uh, accordingly how we can make these channel models and see how they affect. So then we are going to have some signal processing questions discussed. Next uh, here we have some um, multiple access, yes, multiple multiplexing. So basically this will be a uh, devoted to multiplexing systems. Not really like uh, necessarily about CDMA specifically, but uh, the codes are good. So something around uh, about CDMA will be here, including some practical exercise. Ah, and statistical flexing is also here, yes. Next uh, great section is going to be uh, some linear systems and uh, noise. Yes, so basically noise analysis. Then uh, quantum communications. Quantum. And uh, well, actually, uh, actually something around that. And the, well, 
it's not going to take this number of hours because I'm going to make it a little bit more condensed to give you more material, such as uh, I'd like to cover equalizers in this course because, uh, because these car, uh, currently, how to say it, show some problems, but uh, we also need to discuss some solutions, including Viterbi algorithm for nonlinear equalizers. So this is in addition to all of this that is going to come, yes. And then we are going to cover uh, Rayleigh and Raisian. And Raisian channels. Channels, yes. Intersymbol interference in more details. Symbol interference yes and uh, convolutional coding and trellis coded modulation convolutional coding and tcm so basically uh, that is a lot of work to do during this semester and uh, well uh, we'll discuss anything. So uh, as I said, don't be, don't worry. As you can see, probably a lot of mathematics here. It's true, uh, but um, uh, we will have them in the amount sufficient for us to make some simulations, some practical exercises, and not really necessary to know each proof from the head. Yes, uh, basically we will take as much mathematics as we need, uh, because well, we are not really mathematical major courses and we are just some engineering courses yes which should rely on some mathematics that is true but uh, these mathematics are sometimes much simpler rather than theoretical mathematics uh, those mathematics uh, masters and uh, phds use uh, yes so uh, nothing you should worry about everything will be explained during the course so this is about organization of our course. As I said, I will upload this information in our course description somewhere here, yes, so that you can access it. S yes, about uh, the records, they will be uploaded as fast as I can. Yes, uh, hopefully I will be able today upload these uh, first records. Yes, and uh, then you will be able to click it and watch it via YouTube. No, we'll, you will not need to log in anywhere except for Ortus. And in fact, uh, I'm going to make some playlist in Ortus so that uh, you can actually have access to all the videos even without um, uh, logging into Ortus first. But Ortus will still contain PDF presentation. So, uh, so yes. Also, one thing I'd like to mention more is that uh, on Tuesdays, usually they deliver me some water in the early, early morning. So uh, I apologize in advance if you will hear my dog barking and I will need to spend one minute to meet the courier. So in that case, I'm just going to silence my microphone and then uh, we'll return to you in a few minutes. Yes, so please accept my apologies in advance. But uh, well, these deliveries happen once per two weeks. So I believe this is about it about, uh, for the organizational part of our course. Uh, hopefully uh, I have provided enough information about what is expected from you, how you will uh, access all materials, how you will send all your works. But uh, at any rate, don't be alarmed if there are some uh, how to say unanswered questions you can always ask me via ortus system via email via these teams yes uh, it's not a problem i will be happy to answer you in any uh, questions you have and also well as you will be doing some practical exercises and sending them to me it will also be much more clear i don't uh, think i had any previous courses with anybody from you but it might be uh, that you are continuing this course from, um, how to say, from bachelor program, which was previously also read by another teacher, yes. So ideally, it should continue your bachelor level course. 
Okay, are there any questions? You are always welcome to write these questions during the lecture in chat. I have it open in the second monitor as well. Do you have any questions? Maybe ideas, what we can also include in the course that could be interesting. So, uh, currently I can see no questions. This will be our uh, introduction that will be put here. So I'm going to stop the record for now. <laughs>